Oh my god. Let me ask you just what are the policies that are really important to you? Um, I like his uh, policies on immigration. Um, I wish he would talk more about not deporting people. You know, that scares me. I don't, I don't want mass deportations. I think that's terrible. I, I hope he doesn't do that. Um, it concerns me because there's a lot of good, you know, people that are in this country that came here illegally that are good people. They're just, you know, they're looking for an honest, they just want to have a family and live a life and you can't deport them for wanting that. So um, I think we need to build a wall and, and, and keep people that are not in our country now out, give amnesty to the people that are here now, uh, help them become American citizens and then, you know, get tough on the border. I think that's, but I'm not, and I'm not in favor of uh, uh, sanctuary cities. I know I'm not a big fan of the sanctuary cities. I think that needs to go as well. Do you know why they do that? I don't. I, I just, I'm not, uh, I don't know much about it. I just know what I've heard from different people about it, but I, I'm not really informed. Well, let me share with you, okay? The reason why they do that is that law enforcement consider their major responsibility to be public safety and not immigration enforcement. And so when law enforcement is working on things like do you have your papers, what happens is, is that there are large segments of the community that won't come forward to report a crime or bear witness to a crime and it becomes much harder to solve crimes and prevent crimes. See, and that's my issue with it. I think that would incite more people and I think that would entice more illegal immigrants to come to a sanctuary city because I feel like that they could think they could get away with more, they'd have more freedoms. So I think if you take that away from them, um, it, it instills more of a disciplinary uh, effect, and I think it'll clean up the streets a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. Let me just share with you what law enforcement officials tell me. It's actually kind of the opposite of that, and that is that if the criminals know that they can victimize someone who um, is in questionable legal status, and that that, that person is not going to report the crime, and so they know that they, where, where the communities don't have trust in the police or are afraid of the police, that they can go and they can victimize people. And so crime begets crime. And then it turns out that not just the undocumented community, but everyone is less safe. Uh, I don't agree with that. I, I see, I can see kind of where their point is on that, but uh, it, it doesn't, that doesn't seem like something that would work for me. I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Anything you want to add? Um, you know what? It doesn't matter who wins this election. It, I mean, it does, but I just want somebody, if it's Hillary or Donald, I want somebody that's going to, that's going to take, you know, take good care of our country. That's going to protect our veterans. It's going to keep the border safe and it's going to do right by the American people, you know? So, um, you know, I think I wish it was less ugly. You know, I have a real problem with that. Um, but, uh, I, hopefully in the end, uh, Donald Trump wins cause that's who I like and, um, he'll make America great again. We'll see. And you'll accept the outcome of the election no matter who wins? Absolutely. Yeah, if, you know, she, if Hillary Clinton gets in there, I'll, uh, you know, I'll do everything I can to support my president. You know, I, uh, you know, if that's who that is, then you have to respect that. Uh, you know, and I don't, I wasn't, you know, as far as Donald Trump saying that he wasn't sure what he was going to do, concede at the end. I hope he's talking about, like, lawyers and maybe something like happened with uh, Bush and, and, and Gore, uh, but not something along the lines of, like, a rebellion or... You know, something like that. That scares me. I, I'm hoping he's talking about lawyers. But, um, you know, in the end, whoever decides to be the president, we have to respect them. We have to um, do everything we can to be behind them. And hopefully the country will, you know, move in a good path. Hey, you mentioned rebellion. You know, I drove from Washington, D.C. along the path that uh, General Lee's army marched into Pennsylvania toward Gettysburg. Absolutely, yeah. That, what they call that? Um, oh, they call that something, that path that marched up there. I can't think of the name of it, but yeah, that was definitely... Uh, it starts with an A, but I can't remember either. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, I mean, that's, I think that's why people are concerned, is that uh, when, you, when you don't accept the outcome of a, of a peaceful you know, transfer of power, then what? Uh, it scares people, you know, and I don't know how many... It might have even uh, turned off some Republican voters, you know, because people don't want to see anarchy and, 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 and crime and craziness on our streets, you know. They, they want to see you know, jobs come back and they want to see the border be secured.